This is my Volantix Ranger 2000 and it's really hard to get it all in shot. I just finished it. It's equipped with iNav. Let's take it for a maiden flight. Check all the checks. Good recovery. So here we are out at the flying field. To do all the checks. Doing all the checks. CG check. Doing the CG check. The very important CG check. Good. Yeah. I'm very glad that Kevin recorded me, as where his footage will be coming on here in just a minute. There we go. Thanks, Kevin. Elevator up, elevator down, left rudder, right rudder, look centered. Like all the control surfaces are moving the right direction. Now we're going to look at the. Uh, Pan Tilt, which is a bona fide pirate 3D model, and I also followed his servo mod. And oh, I bought the same it. servos from Banggood. Pan Tilt. And I bought a similar <laughs> resistor. And you can see, see that right goes, there. That's the mod. Normally it would only go to there. And you put the resistor in, and it goes all the way back. Oh, nice. I had to do a lot of end point shifting because it would keep going around and then they go. Yes, I had to set the end point so that the thing didn't go crazy. I did that on the okay. transmitter, not an INAV. As soon as it's ready to fly, it's ready to fly. So we're ready to fly the Ranger 2000. It's a beautiful winter day. takes me forever to get ready for a maiden flight like this. What direction are you going to launch? Uh, kind of that way, I guess. Okay, so you're going to go across the wind? Where's the wind coming from? That way, right. No, the... Yeah, you see the... So now we're discussing the wind speed and the wind direction. And I've already made up my mind yeah, to do a crosswind landing or takeoff. Yeah, gonna go take off. the winds are light. Oh yeah. Checking the uh, control surfaces in the auto level okay. modes. Okay. It's like everything's moving the right way. Oh, here I got it. Now, once again, I'm adjusting my cameras. I have I use my phone camera okay. and a GoPro here. So we're going that way. So terrible throw, and I'm on the sticks right away, which cancels the auto launch. So I'm flying it in horizon mode. And I'm planning to get up. And then that happens. So what's obvious is that the uh, canopy has come off. And we're looking out the side of the right wing. This is the hybrid, the run cam hybrid recording. And we've lost the video transmitter. So this just, there was a, about $80 flew off in that. Are you doing that or is it, or 
They're, we're talking about the flying. Kevin's asking me. I am actually on the sticks. As you can see by the stick uh, overlay. And it is a beautiful gliding plane. We were power off the whole way, pretty much. So Kevin's got it. He knows the canopies come off and hit the blade, hit the prop. And we walk over there. I put in hours of work and then we had <laughs> a 45 second flight, I think. <laughs> so that flew really well, like even gliding. Yeah. So what must have happened is that the canopy must have come off. So we're back in the Dank RC workshop for some post-incident analysis, and I think we can clearly see what happened. What I think happened was that I fell prey to this flaw in the canopy design that Volantex designed into this canopy. The canopy should have a clip in the rear and the tab in the front. But of course, as everyone who owns one of these knows, the tab is in the rear and the clip is in the front. And what I did was, as I closed the canopy like this, I heard that click and I went on with the flight. But if you go to the timestamp, which I'm going to put here, I would say that you can see that this is exactly what's happened you can see that the clip has not been clipped all the way and I was sloppy. And I did not, in all my checks, checks of checks at the beginning, I did not check that clip. And if you pull up on this canopy, it comes right off. I'll provide more details in another video following this one about the second maiden and about any repairs and modifications I made to the canopy so that it wouldn't fly off in flight. Thanks for watching.